when I um, diagnose somebody with Parkinson's disease, I have several thoughts that go through my head right away. One is that I will have a long-term relationship with that patient or family that may extend over years or even decades. The other thing is I, I understand that, that at the moment of diagnosis, the patient suddenly feels like they're floating. Um, they, they've lost their hold. Um, and really my first job is to get that patient grounded. And I think there are several parts to um, getting a person well grounded. Uh, what physicians typically do is prescribe medications, and medications indeed are an important part of the, the management of Parkinson's disease, um, helping them understand what medication to use, what medication is right for them, what the side effects might be, how to use the medication, uh, and so on. And we spend a lot of time on that. Um, but I think the parts that are equally, if not more important, are are the education, helping them to really understand what the disease is and what it isn't um, so that they understand uh, both how or why they're using their medications, what are the other things they can do to optimize their function, and at least to a little extent uh, what's, what's coming in the future. Uh, and then the third piece of this is to get them engaged. Uh, the patients who do best are the patients who really get engaged in their own health, uh, in, in their own health care. Um, simply taking pills that the doctor prescribes and coming back in six months really only gets you part of the way there. Um, I routinely refer everybody on day one um, to a physical therapist to talk about an exercise regimen that is relevant to Parkinson's disease. I've had any number of patients who are healthier overall three years after a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease by a long shot than they were for the 10 years before their diagnosis because they've gotten on the right medication, they understand the disease process, and they're engaged in exercise, and they're doing activities that help them to feel better. Um, so that's really my goal when I, when I first diagnose somebody with Parkinson's is to get them off to the, to the right start so that they can do the things that they want to do, that they're able to do, whether that includes uh, continuing to work, which for many of them, it does. Some patients reach a point where they say, you know, work is kind of fatiguing and it just gets me too exhausted, it's not worth it. Well, that's okay too. Then what are you gonna do when you retire? Do you have a bucket list full of things to do and let's go do them? Um, so early stages, I think we can really help people to, to get past their preconceptions that, that this is a, it's a death sentence. I, I'll never be able to do anything again. People with Parkinson's can't move. You know, all those things are wrong.